Let's see here, folks. I'm not going to go downstairs in my man cave and get a cigar. I'm going to get one right out of here in my room. I keep a humidor in my room, too. So let's see what we're going to get today. White Pearl. We're going to try that. I don't remember reviewing this one, but we're going to review this one. La Perla Habana White Pearl. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to talk to you guys today about, but um, you know me. Let's get into cutting it the way I like here. Of course, that's my punch. You know I like using the punch. So let's go ahead and get that guy all punched out. Got a nice, got a nice draw. Yeah. Get that out of here. Decided to sit in the car today and do this review. No, for no in particular reason. I just feel like sitting here in the car today. Kind of like being outside. Well, I am mean, outside, but I'm outside of in the in the side of. You know what I'm saying? Outside in the side of. Outside inside the car. If you don't understand what outside or inner side it is. So, without further ado, so like I said, it got a nice draw on it. Mm. You can taste a lot of flavors with a dry draw too. You know, that's pretty good. I may have a few conversations for you guys today. One of them is probably going to be on the cigar versus a cigarette. Why did the race separate racism and all that kind of stuff? Not that I'm on either side, but how race and what race really means. I could talk about that. Or, let me see, I could talk about my wife's crummy ass people let's say that i don't want to put out who but crummy in-laws let's say crummy in-laws that's what we're going to say there's a lot of things and we still in this covid thing everything has opened back up but we're still in this covid thing you guys president out there done caught covid but now he's cured hmm is it true or is it a hoax who knows I don't want to really talk politics neither. I like to keep my conversations on um, even playing ground. I tend to leave my judgment out of things when it comes to um, issues like that. As far as, you know, like religion, politics, because um, that's another one I could get into too, you know, religion. <laughs> I might, but you know, hey, let's light it up. Oh, hold up. I'm going to have to get a better. Let the windows up. Let's see if that helps first. Let's let these windows up, guys. And I don't know if I showed you guys my little snuff that I made out of wood, but it's a great little cigar snuff. It's like a little tiki man here. You know, I'm getting better with my wood carving. It's got like three faces on it. They all kind of look alike. They just got different beards and different goatees, but you know, it's like the cigar snuff, you know, put it in after you're done. Something like that. <laughs> oh man, I had to sneeze real fast. 
But let's try to get this cigar lit. Let's see if I leave that one down when I get a light out of here. Now, most of you guys know that follow me. I really don't recommend lighting with a um, regular fluid lighter because the fluid you can get in there. You just got to be careful at times if you lighting with a disposable lighter. You get all kind of toxins. You can get all kind of toxin and different flavors by just trying to light your stogie. But let's give this a few puffs and um, I'll tell you how and what I think about it. get a little bit more comfortable need to put a little bit of light now you do know I like to have mine burning at least somewhat even so seems like I'm wasting a lot of time but I don't know folks thank goodness I can edit right so we're gonna do our thing and just talk I cut out all the crap for you that don't want to hear all the crap. And for those of you that just like hearing me talk my crap, we're getting ready to talk. All right, folks. It's medium bodied. It's medium body. It's not strong and bold or nothing. It's medium body. It's very light and it's somewhat creamy and vanilla y. If vanilla y is a word, but it's creamy, but vanilla. <laughs> But no, it's it's cream. <laughs> All right, guys. Now let's see here. No, life is. It's not. I wouldn't say a joke, but life is like. Life has a lot of ups and downs, man. You got to take life one day at a time. You can't be in a rush to do nothing, but be in a hurry to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Rush to do nothing, but be in a hurry to do nothing. In other words, like, don't rush to do anything, but be in a rush to do nothing. Just live life, be happy. It's about finding your peace. If you can find your peace. And peace comes with. It can be doing anything. Most of the time. Do something. That you don't need. Your front mind to do. Do something that you can do. Unconsciously. You know what I'm saying. Like your subconscious mind. You know, like a lot of people, a lot of you can just drive and you drove, let's say, back and forth to work or to a certain relative's house or some, so many, so many places, so many times that you don't need to think about when you get there. But on that drive, you can like relax and zone out and just think about other things. And when you get there, you realize 
I don't even remember getting here. Or say, for instance, you're going somewhere else and you realize you actually pass your exit up because you're so used to going a certain way, you was thinking you was going to a certain place when you were supposed to be going to a certain other place. You know, doing things with a subconscious mind is where you find that peace. You know, it comes with being quiet and still. I mean, you don't have to be very still, but just relaxing and enjoy what's going on around you sometimes, if you can do that. But enough about that. I got this dilemma going on here. I don't know what to do, folks. My significant other let this other window down so this smoke don't linger in the car but my significant other has an in-law that's kind of like a um a tick or a flea or something. <laughs> I don't really know what to call it. But it's crazy though, folks. And um, I don't really want to say too much right now because they are around. I don't want to make nobody feel bad. You know what I'm saying? But what do you do when somebody won't do what they should do? The pearl, the white pearl. Try that white pearl. I don't know if you guys can see that good enough, but try that white pearl. Um, another thing, like I was going to say something about, you know, race, right? Race, race started way back, you know, it, it, it's really biblical if you really want to go back that far, but it was a lot of conflict, right? So God separated nations. He scrambled the languages because people were having too much conflict. So in order for them to learn to get along, he divided them all, us all up in groups, right? There was never once said that God didn't want us really to breed or get to know one another. Things were just split up because it was too much conflict going on. But anyhow, with that said, and that's not really what I'm getting on in the, as far as the Bible, but let me see if I can even, hold on, I'll make sure I can even hear myself on here. All right, everything is culture there. I just had to test that volume real fast. And um, oh yeah, check this out, guys. This is another thing I've been doing on my lockup or lockdown in COVID, whatever. I decided to stretch my ears. Yeah, I, I rushed it a little bit. I went from, a, um, I think when you get your ears pierced, it's like a, uh, probably a 18 or 16 or something. And then over time, you start wearing like 14s maybe or maybe 16s, whichever, or depend on the earring. But nevertheless, and um, I say, let's say when we got this uh, started really here, and lockdown started what in like 
February or something like that. February, March, April, May, June. Probably in a total of four months, I went from the 14 gauge to my size zero. And so, I got a little video of that. If you guys want to check that out too, check me out on Mark Lewis from A to Z. I got another YouTube channel on that. But I'm just talking to you guys about it because I keep looking at myself back and forth from the camera to the to the screen because it's kind of eye catching to see yourself sometime. I don't have my camera like I usually should have it. I'm using my phone to do this, but you know, hey, like I said, I'm in the car, so I just got what's convenient right now to make you guys a video because I haven't talked to you guys in a while and. It's not cool to do your fans like that. I want to speak to you guys. I want to hear from you. I wish you was here with me to talk to me. But I can hear you. I can hear what you're thinking. Some of you out there stressed it. I can see it. Some of you thinking about it. But if you're going to do it, do it. It's a cool thing to do. I found it to be kind of addicting. But I'm not going to go farther than a zero because... I might decide to go back to my little diamonds one day and you can stretch your ears so far to where there's a point of no return. I eventually want to probably go back one day so between a two and a zero you can go back down. You can take them out and let your ears shrink back down to your normal size or leave them out all together and they close back up but if you try to go like double zero it's a chance it might not go all the way back down so you're pushing it after the size zero you're really pushing it at a zero two you can go back down but you're kind of pushing it at a size zero but anyhow um back to this uh race thing right it kind of started way back we like um 15,000 mosquito or something 15,000 CE now if you don't know what CE is it's kind of like the roman terms cuz this is back way then with the romans the medieval times and stuff like that but CE is just like um AD or you know BC before Christ after death or it will be BCE CE is the common era but this is goes way back then like 15,000 CE or 15,000 AD whichever one you want to relate to but um, anyhow if you think about it, I said I'm not the one to say races should mix. I don't care what people do. People are people. It doesn't matter. But what I do want is, you know, for all races, at least for somebody in that race, to stick with their own kind so each race can carry on. You know, I don't care about mixed races but I do want some to stick with their own kind I wouldn't agree I won't agree for everybody to mix everything up because we need our own natural hearing something walking oh <laughs> we need our own natural type of thing right so if you think way back before 15,000 BC, I mean AD. And um, this is a simple way to put it right here. People, like you got the whites, blacks, Koreans, whatever. God made all races for one, so he don't care what's what, but he did make all races just like he made animals. And what I'm going to get to with the animals are is... um race if you want to say in English terms now 
race has two meanings as far as uh, we go, right? Race like competition. and race as far as your origin. Now, it wasn't really tied to people, like I said, until this 15,000 CE AD, right? They knew of different people, but they didn't start putting people or classifying people like, hey, nah, you're, you're, you're too different or something, however, and you know, stuff like that. But if you think about it, Say for instance, you got a dog, right? You got a poodle, you got a Rockweiler, you got a pit bull, you got a Great Dane. Now, if you wanted one of those dogs, you wouldn't want that dog to be mixed, right? You want it to be straight in his race, his breed. Well, you can't call him his breeds, right? Or can you? But you want that dog to be a straight breed. Now, some people take mixed dogs and mixed dogs, we call them mutts, but you can't run around calling people mutts, right? You know, it's kind of weird, but you can take a mixed person, but you don't want a mixed dog. Now, with that being said, of uh, the different races of dogs, now... Within a race of dogs, you have your different breeds of dogs. Let's say you got a um, Greyhound, Basset Hound, and um, Beagles and um, some other kind of dogs. But you get what I'm saying by uh, the different breeds and then the different races. Because you can't go mixing a poodle with a Rottweiler, but at the same time, you can mix like, like I was saying, you got your like, you got your bloodhound, you got your coon hound, basset hound, greyhound. All those are different kind of hounds within that breed. But as far as the race of dogs go, they're not in the same race as a pit or a boxer. You know, it's different like that. But when you think about animals and plants, it's like you got your different um, breeds of trees. You got your oak, you got your maple, you got cedar, you got cottonwood. It's different things, you know what I'm saying? And the humans are the same way. So where and where and why did we become so naive to one another to where some of us don't even accept the other race. That's a question to be asked. Are you jealous of another race? That's the only reason why you can not like something is because you're jealous of it, especially if they didn't do anything to you. But I'm not gonna get into all that. I just wanna put that thought on you guys' mind right there because you know these are things I think about sometime and sometimes I need someone to talk to. And sometimes I don't really wanna talk with loved ones about the situation you know i want to talk with somebody sometime with an opposite opinion sometime or opposite point of view seems like family always agree with you some of them don't keep it real they don't or maybe they do and or maybe you're just have a manipulative type of speech to where they feel compelled to agree with you sometime you know who knows but that's why I don't like talking with family about everything, but I like talking with family. But, you know, like I said, you know, who knows? But before I end this little conversation with you guys, one thing I do want to share with you guys, the people out there who say cigars are worse than cigarettes, no, they're not. And for this simple reason, I'm going to tell you, cigars are all natural. Now, some of them are fermented in different ways, but they're all the natural tobacco leaf. 
Some of them might be aged longer than the others. Like you said, you got your medium body, you got your mild body, and you got your bold and strong body flavors and things like that. And you know flavors, that's only be from whatever was aged in the barrel before they aged the tobacco leaf or fermented the tobacco leaf inside that barrel. Once you age that leaf in that barrel, it kind of picks up a hint of whatever was aged in that barrel before but even with that being said still the tobacco leaf or cigars they're all natural now you got the doggone cigarettes and who knows what is in those and i could sit here with you guys as a matter of fact i pause the camera and i'm pausing and talk well, and some, and this right here, I haven't even dumped it yet. I don't know if you guys been watching and coming up, going along with what I've been saying. But for those of you who have and seen how long this video is, I haven't dumped it yet since I lit it. I don't inhale. Don't you? Don't nobody supposed to inhale a cigar? You inhaling a cigar? You asking for death, man. <laughs> Plain and simple. You inhale a cigar, you asking for death. But never inhale a cigar. Now, it's probably been about what? We say about 20 minutes. And this is as much as burnt on my cigar. You can let a cigar burn for hours and hours. Well, depends on the size of it. At least an hour. Cigars are meant to smoke casually you know be moderate right you don't just do like them some cigarette smokers so a cigarette smoker with this amount of time could have been on probably of them smoked about two maybe three cigarettes because if you think about your average cigarette smoker especially if they on break and they inhale that crap and all that chemicals and whatever who knows what they're inhaling it's not all natural that's one thing but they inhale it they suck it down in like five minutes so even though you want to you can say a, a cigar has more nicotine than a cigarette it's not the nicotine that gets you it's those chemicals in that cigar i mean sorry guys it's the chemicals in that cigarette that get you so you can't compare a cigar to a cigarette because there's no added nothing to a cigar. Cigars are all natural, whereas <laughs> cigarettes are manufactured with chemicals and whatever addictive additives they put in that stuff, man. It, it, it's crazy. And if you like it, that's your choice. But don't go talking about my cigar because you want to defend your cigarette. Your cigarette is nothing like this right here, buddy. Your cigarettes will kill you way faster than this ever will kill you. So get that straight first. And I hope I don't offend anybody on here that's a cigarette smoker. If anything, I hope I educated you so you can cut back on smoking some of them cigarettes, man. And if you're a cigar smoker and you inhale, hopefully I educate you so you don't inhale those cigars. You just puff on it, taste the smoke, and let it go. And just chill and relax with a cigar and have a conversation. It's not a nicotine fix like at a smoke break because it's not the nicotine that you're addicted to. <laughs> you're addicted to tar and whatever else, man. So, But that being said, man... Um, And get some out, you know. Talk to you guys later. Peace.